This is the oldest gravestone here. It doesn't look like much compared to the other weathered graves. The other weathered graves look much more older and they turn out to be 18, later 1850s and 1860s and 70s. This one, Stephen Goodrich, a Bingham MC, died November 21st, 1850, age 52. He was the first burial in the cemetery and I looked throughout this whole cemetery and I finally found the oldest grave, just stumbled upon. And I just want to let you know, I mean, this was the first burial. Mining came to this area in 1848. There was a miner who found gold and it drew everybody in in this area. And it looks like you're in a volcano based on all the hills around here because it's a bowl shape, but it's not a volcano, but that they named the town volcano. Beautiful stones, Christian also fixed a vase on a stone. That's what it's about, giving back. It's not about the ghosts. It's about the history and giving back. If we can fix the cemetery a little bit, we've done a good deed. And the cemetery is deteriorating. It's been vandalized, and uh, we're just trying to fix it up, make it known on the site. There's uh, fruit on the ground. There are fruit trees that grow around here. There's also mining remnants around the town, including some water towers and up on the hillside, some old mining ruins. But anyways, we're headed on out. Uh, this is Lord Rick of the Paranormal and Ghost Society. And we did find the oldest grave, so we've succeeded. Anyways, we'll keep you up to date. Our next stop will be Volcano, the town of Volcano. Think of it as a reinvention. We have it on our site, but we don't have a lot of information or pictures. This time I'm going to the saloon. I'm going to the haunted hotel. I'm doing it up, man. That's what it's about doing it up be careful don't walk on the stones they fall anyways just want to say peace i'm out of here